Welcome back to another bedazzling video. Today we are going to be bedazzling the TikTok famous Stanley Cup. Go, 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 go. This video is very different. Usually I've only ever done TikTok shorts, TikTok shorts, YouTube shorts or TikToks or sometimes Instagram reels, but I've been getting a lot of comments recently about my bedazzling series and how you guys want longer videos. I'm a little skeptical that people are gonna actually wanna watch this. I feel like everybody's attention spans are just very short nowadays, mine included, so I, I don't know. This is an experimental video. If it doesn't go well, we'll just never talk about it again. But you guys did ask for a longer type video, so. This is it. If I act like I don't know what I'm doing, it's because I usually never film these, so I honestly don't know what I'm doing. For some reason, this cup owns my For You page. And after purchasing one, I kind of get it. I understand the hype. It's huge. Oh. You can fit like 40 ounces of liquid in here. Oh. It's also just like sturdy and apparently it's supposed to keep your drink cold for super long. So go, 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 go. I understand the hype I do, but it was $40. $40. $40. And I had to search literally so long to try to find one of these because they were sold out online. They were sold out in every single store in my area except for one. One Target had them. So yeah, these are insanely popular and I thought, what else would I do with this other than spend hours and hours and hours putting little tiny gems on it? When I was searching high and low for a Stanley cup, I was thinking, oh, I just ideally want to get a whiter silver cup because I have silver gems and I feel like it would look weird if it was any other color showing through. Well, there was only two cups left in the whole entire area and both of them are pink. So the whole time I was bedazzling, I was worried that it just would not look good and the pink would show through and it would just look awkward. But I really don't think it looks that bad. You can disagree with me in the comments, but I really don't think it looks that bad. Well, I really do like how it looks after I'm done filming. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like filming these types of videos as much. Just the process of filming. I like the result and the way it looks after it, and I like the process of bedazzling, right? But when I'm filming, I speed the videos up to look like it takes me two seconds to do everything, and I can't really move the object I'm bedazzling that much or else it'll just look blurry, I guess. Like the object will keep moving and you can't really focus on anything. So I have to like make sure the object is still and make sure I don't move and like my back starts to hurt and I wanna move it, but I can't because I'm filming. Although for Christmas, my brother did get me like this really nice gamer chair. Hopefully that helps like my back because I'm not gonna lie, this chair is the most uncomfortable chair ever and I have to sit in it for hours when I'm bedazzling. It's <laughs> quite literally the worst. And the plan is to do everything in little sections so it doesn't look, how do I explain this? When I bedazzle in like straight lines, the lines eventually get curvy for some reason. I don't know why, but my plan is now to work in sections to kind of like combat the curviness. You know, like if this is a straight line here, all of this should be straight, right? In my mind, it works. I'm debating on whether or not to do the handle because, because I want to be able to like carry it around places and I feel like it would be kind of uncomfy to like hold something that was bedazzled for so long. I feel like it would make those weird little indents in your hand. Sometimes those look gross. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'm gonna bedazzle the handle. Cause I feel like that would just be really uncomfy. Yep, the handle's staying. One of the like most asked questions I get on every single video, every single bedazzling video is how long did that take you? And for everything that's different, it really depends on like how big the object is, how many different colors go into it, how big the gems are that I'm putting on it. This so far, I haven't even really made a dent on this. And this so far has taken me three hours. So it takes a long time. And people get really mad in my comment sections. Where's the next bedazzling video? You haven't posted it in so long, blah, blah, blah. 
I, I try. I try to post regularly and I try to post as much as I can, but it's just kind of hard to like black out the time to do this for so long. Um, another question that I get a lot is where do I get the stuff I use to bedazzle? I get everything on Amazon. It's just easier to order it and have it show up to my door. To be honest, I can't really find different colored gems, like different sizes, different colored gems at a physical store. I've looked at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Join Fabrics, and they do not have what I need. They have gems, but it's not what I need. It's not the size I need. It's not the colors I need. It's not like sometimes they have sticky stuff on the back and I prefer not to work with that. So I just find it easier buying everything on Amazon. I actually have everything linked on my Amazon storefront if you want to know like the specific items I use. Like for glue, I use Gemtac glue. For the little thing I use to pick up the gems, it's called Pick Me Up. <laughs> Literally called Pick Me Up. And then for the gems, I forget what brand they are to be honest, but if you just look up gems on Amazon, you should be able to find them. But if you want the specific gems I use, they are linked on my Amazon storefront, which I can link in the comments down below. Also, just let me know in the comments if you like this type of video, the style of like a long video. And if you do, I might make more. But if I do make another video, I kind of need topics to talk about while I'm bedazzling. So if you have any questions about bedazzling or myself in general, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them in the next video if there is a next video. I have a hunch people want to watch like a minute video of me bedazzling. They don't want all the details, they just want to see it. They want quick results. I feel like that's just the way things are now, but I could be wrong. And like I always assume people are not interested in my life because to be honest, I don't have that exciting of a life. And so, the one day I was looking up, I was like Googling myself and I came across this weird website that had like my birthday and like my statistics. It was like my height, my weight. First of all, the weight was wrong. I never share my weight on the internet, but there's a whole section on like dating. And it was like, does Michaela Love have a boyfriend? We don't know. She's so secretive in her life and she's such a private person and we know no details about her dating life. And up to that point, I never thought of myself as like secretive and like not sharing about my life. But when I think about it, I feel like I don't really share much of my life on social media just because I don't think it's that interesting. I need a tripod that like goes over the top. I wonder if they make those. They have to make those. Also in the comments, let me know what I should bedazzle next because mainly I just bedazzle things you guys tell me to bedazzle in the comments. Like most of everything I've ever bedazzled is from a comment. I don't, I don't go into a store and be like, what can I bedazzle and pick out a random thing and bedazzle it? That would be a good video idea. I think I'm about to run out of camera space, like memory card space. Says, so my camera did die. And by die, I mean it ran out of memory card space. So I popped a new memory card in it and finished this up over the course of many, many hours. I think for the most part, the working in the small sections really did help keep everything like aligned for the most part. Some things do kind of look a little strange. I'm not gonna lie. So just don't look too closely on the final reveal and we'll be good. So I just finished this at like 2 a.m. last night, maybe 3 a.m. I don't know, I was up late bedazzling. And I put the tag that I, you can see where I ripped it off, but I put the tag back on to make it look new and I think it kind of looks cool with the tag on. I'm gonna rip it off in like two seconds anyways. I bedazzled pretty much everything other than the top part, the handle, and the logo. I've been really debating and trying to figure out if I should bedazzle this logo, but it looks kind of okay right now, right? And I feel like if I did bedazzle the logo, it would just look messy and I think I would mess up the whole thing. So I'm not gonna do the logo. But if you think that's a complete mistake and you know, I'm ruining the whole look of the cup, let me know in the comments and I'll bedazzle the logo and show you guys. But right now I'm going to 
film a proper close-up video of this to make it look expensive. I don't know. So I'm gonna head to the Dollar Tree to get some supplies to build a little tiny set because I was gonna film it in the snow, but all the snow melted. I got everything from the Dollar Tree. Some confetti, wrapping paper, and then a bowl. I could not decide what style edit I wanted to do for this final reveal video. I was torn between like a more upbeat, faster edit and a softer, more slower edit. So I did both. I hope you liked the video. If you have any suggestions on what I should bedazzle next, leave them down in the comments below.